Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Today I'm creating using this recycled uh, wine box. Um, that's the finished lid that you see there in the photo. Um, this beautiful box I picked up at a secondhand store a couple of years ago um, and decided I wanted to use it for this project. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, go ahead and give it a good coat of gesso. Um, on all sides. It does only require one coat. I just wanted to make sure that anything that I was doing on the surface would um, adhere well. I'll be creating some background paper using tissue paper and the Dina Wakely acrylic sprays. Um, and then some of these stencils I use. I didn't end up using that beach one, um, but many of these stencils from Sean Petit um, I did use. So, um, but you'll be able to see that as I move along through the video. I didn't end up using all of them. I'm gonna protect my surface because these sprays are very messy and they go everywhere. Um, so um, I highly advise that you do this um, as well as um, when you're shaking them. Um, I actually shook them the last time I used them and ended up with spray behind me on my surfaces. So um, just keep that in mind. They're super fun to use. Um, they layer beautifully. Um, and if you want to check out like um, what the acrylic sprays are made out of, um, I would um, suggest that you check out Dina Wakely's YouTube channel and you can get the scientific scientific information about this product. So I'm just laying out all of these stencils to create some background. Um, the beautiful thing about these sprays is you can um, layer them. So I'm coming in with the, I believe this is the lemon yellow, and then I'll be coming in with the olive green, um, which is not really uh, very olive. It's very, very pale, um, but it's slightly different color than the, the yellow here. So I'm going to just go ahead and spray that here and there, really not thinking too much about uh, what colors I'm creating. I just wanted to get some really good background colors. Um, and then this is the, I believe this is Ocean. Um, all of the products will be listed um, in the video description as well as over on my blog. And I'm going to go ahead and lift those stencils up and reveal um, the beautiful design that's created um, behind it. So there's the numbers jumble stencil from Sean Petit. Love how that turned out. Um, and these are acrylic sprays, so they dry um, hard um, and they're they're permanent, so they're really, really fun to work with. Um, they took me a little bit to get used to, um, but uh, I really am pleased with them. So just removing all of those stencils, and then I'm going to come in with a different, uh, another layer, using the stencils in a different order um, and different colors. So I'll be using um, um, the teal, the ocean, and I believe the fuchsia. Um, but again, all those products will be listed in the video description. And what I'm going to do with these tissue papers is I'm going to actually tear them up and use them to decoupage onto the wine box, um, both on the box itself and the lid. So it turned out really, really beautiful. Again, turned out darker than um, I would have liked, but I'm still happy with it. Um, especially as I was just experimenting with these sprays and really wanted to use that wine box. So I'm happy with it. And the other cool thing, one of the properties of this paint is that um, the paints will resist, resist each other where they overlay. So it creates a really uh, cool effect as well. And then this is the fuchsia. It is important when you're using these to wipe off the nozzle. I try to wipe it off between each spray, um, but uh, as long as I think, as long as you do it before you end your creative session, you should be good. I just love the, the beautiful design that's created. You can see the numbers, you can see the flowers uh, from Sean's um, floral stencil and just absolutely love it. So I'll be applying this with my Liquitex matte medium. And I do cut out much of this process because it was fairly lengthy. Um, I do tear them up um, and then um, apply them uh, all around the sides of the box and the lid. And it was really interesting because I didn't really plan on how much paper it was going to take to cover the box. And I literally used every single piece of this paper. 
Um, so it's pretty, pretty cool. It's actually not traditional um, tissue paper. It's a, um, they call it a, a parchment paper, but it's really thin and pretty durable. So as you saw when I was playing with it, it didn't tear or anything uh, when I was um, lifting those stencils and spraying. So, and there's just a finished um, picture of what the box looks like, completely covered really really loved it i love the the um the decoupage look of this i was really happy with it and then there i'm just finding my the front of the box because it does have a latch uh it has some um some gear so software it has some hardware um on the back as a hinge and then on the front it has this swivel kind of hook thing and then it has a handle on the top so i decided i wanted to go ahead and use some gold foil um, i haven't really played with this much so i don't know if i was actually doing it correctly um, probably not um, but i was able to get the gold flex that i wanted so um, in the end it doesn't really show up because there's just so much that goes on on top of this again uh, oftentimes i um, have a hard time stopping um, the layers and this was definitely one of those projects but i had fun in that in my opinion that is what counts so it's all good um, and coming in with the uh, i believe this is the floral doodle stencil from sean's shop um, and just using my magenta um, paint it's a heavy body paint from liquitex and then there's just a quick look at what that looks like. And I'm going to be coming in with the, um, this is her mosaic mini stencil and using some uh, ivory black heavy body paint as well from Liquitex and just uh, creating some design around. Um, I think it could have done without um, this much black. Um, if I were to do it again, I would probably just use a little bit of the black. Um, I think it became a little overpowering, but it's all right. This is a Deco Art Premium paint in um, green gold, one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to use my small brayer and I'm going to just brayer over the top of all of that texture. And I really loved this step. Um, I love how it brings this really springy, sunny uh, look to the entire piece. So I did that on all sides as well as I'm going to do it there on the lid. Um, now I'm going to come in with my heavy body uh, titanium white uh, paint from Liquitex. I'm going to use the numbers jumble stencil and just put some numbers here and there. I think they're a fun addition to a piece. Um, and it definitely needed the white to, um, to lighten it up a little bit. So I was happy with it. And I do that also to the lid. So the video uh, process for this project was fairly long, so I did cut out a lot of unnecessary uh, repetition. So everything that I do on the box, I also do on the lid. Um, and now I'm going to use Sean's tulip stencil. I was kind of deciding um, how big I wanted that tulip to be as I didn't want it to interfere with the latch that's gonna go up above. Um, so the large size tulip was perfect using my Liquitex modeling paste. It's the flexible modeling paste. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a really good layer of that. I had some trouble um, because I'm bumping up against the edges of that box. And so I decided I was just gonna have that be on the that front section um, and wiped off the edges. Um, I did dry this thoroughly um, before I move on to this step. So I'm coming in with my DecoArt Premium sap green hue um, and then I'll be coming in with a lighter layer of the a green gold also on all of that greenery these are my two favorite colors for uh, for green uh, that I have so now I'm going to use um, Arteza um, this is a mauve light um, as my light color for the tulip and then dioxazine purple uh, for the base color and the darker color for the tulip so as you'll see here in a moment um, I do water it down here a little bit because it was it's very thick um, because that again is a heavy body paint so I just grabbed a little bit of water with my brush um, and um, made that a little bit more liquidy um, really, really love how that turned out. Um, 
I did uh, want to bring in that purple in other places on the piece. Um, and so I used the dioxazine purple and the mauve um, and this stencil to create a little bit more visual interest. This is another step that I think um, a little would have gone a long way. And I, I feel like I went a little overboard on it. But again, I was just playing and it, that's what art is. It's it's you have to play. Otherwise, it becomes burdensome and, and it's no longer joyful. So I think that's super important. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do um, a raw umber glaze over the entire piece. Um, and again, it, this is one step that probably could have, I could have foregone um, and it would have been beautiful without it. Um, but I just am a little addicted to the glaze. So, um, and it didn't, the only thing it really did to it is it kind of grunged up the white. Um, so it was, it was okay. Um, I might have done it differently if I were to do it again, but again, I was super happy with the project. And so I really don't have any uh, complaints. Um, but I really love the, the, the way that we can use anything that we have to create on. Um, I've used recycled boxes. I've used recycled frames. I've used recycled plaques. Um, I used this, um, this box. I've also done, um, uh, other vintage boxes with drawers and things. And it's, it's just super fun. Um, so because I, I really liked that gold flecking that I did with the gold foil, I decided to use my iridescent gold, uh, gold, uh, golden fluid acrylic and just use my finger to, um, apply that because is all it was doing was catching on all the lay, all of the wrinkles that were created from the, um, when I adhered the tissue paper and you'll be able to see a close up of that here in just a moment. And the close ups at the end show, um, just how magnificent that um, that texture was and how it grabbed um, that gold. It's just beautiful, uh, far, far better than I expected. So as you can see, there's the wrinkles. Um, and then I'll show you the box here too. Just really, really beautiful. I was really happy with that step. Love it. It was a super fun project. So I'm going to come in with my Penny Black script stamp, which um, I have a hard time not doing. Um, this is another step that um, probably wasn't necessary um, in the big scheme of things, but it's okay. Um, I'm using my uh, Liquitex acrylic ink in titanium white, and I'm going to do some white splatters all over the piece, again, on the um, box as well as on the lid. Um, I did wipe off um, the, the white on the flower. I didn't want that really to be on there. Um, I was quite challenged with trying to do this because I had to hold the box and try to splatter. So that was interesting. Um, so, and then the last step, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Sean's uh, word stencil here. Um, I forget the name of it, but I can show you. Oh, it it's, looks like uh, Fave Words 1. Um, and I'm going to use those words around each side of the box. And then I'll be also using that joy on the front part of the lid, uh, as you'll be able to see in the final pictures. Uh, so once I'm done stenciling uh, all these on with my black archival ink, I use my black permanent pen um, to connect the lines and just to sharpen up some of those, um, those lines to make them a little crisper and in some places a little thicker. So... I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, I know it's a, there's a lot of skipping around when the video is super long. Um, editing can be quite challenging and I'm still refining that process to make it um, pleasing for you as the viewer, um, but also um, make it short enough so that I can engage people to watch it. So I thank you for your patience as I continue to figure that out as well. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you haven't liked and subscribed, I really encourage you to do that. I would love to be able to share other processes and art with you. Um, there's a picture of the original box and the lid. Uh, it was just a gorgeous piece um, and then some finished photos. So again, thank you so much for stopping by and visiting. Um, take care of yourselves. Blessings to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.